the demonstration file over proxy. This is uh, our proxy server, and uh, when I try to register or make a call from customer device, we will see that. So, proxy send to uh, first PBX register messages and receive. 200 okay answer okay so we are registered and uh, we can make a call for example i will call to uh, to have a test okay it works for example uh, we want to check if if um, first probe is down, what proxy we will do? I will block So now proxy try to ping first PBX and uh, doesn't receive any answer because I block traffic. So second PBX is online and uh, if my customer device will try to register will send call to it will send uh, register messages message to another VX here this is uh, second VX so also I did not change anything on uh, my customer device All changes what was made by C proxy automatically. So now we see that call going to second PBX. Here is uh, how we can manage our PBXs. Uh, here is table where we set domain and dispatcher group so all calls to that domain will call will go to this group is here so actually uh, 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 every customer can have many PBX is as reserved. Uh, so in uh, in uh, common picture system will looks like like uh, on that diagram. Customer SIP devices has ordinary settings, except outbound proxy. C proxy located in uh, Google, Amazon, or DigitalOcean cloud, or any other cloud, and uh, every client have two PBXs. So one is a main PBX, and second is reserved. When main go down, C proxy will will send calls and registered messages to reserved and. Uh, that is why uh, we have to use database uh, synchronize scripts. Uh, that's all. That's all. I think it's everything clear here.